Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We back with another one, guys. Before we get into the video, let's get this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit subscribe, turn on the post notifications so you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. So, guys, do not make this mistake with your tax money. I'm not here by any means to tell any grown adult what they should and shouldn't do with their money. This is just here. I'm just here to spread awareness on what I see take place year over year with people being put in the same position that there was in last year after having the opportunity to be straight up from from the checks that they receive guys every year all the you know every, all the working class have one shot at, at getting rich or flipping that money everybody might not want to be rich or can't be rich but at least flipping that money those thousands that they get to at least you know five figures to close to a hundred thousand or a hundred G's because the amount of money people get for these tax returns, you could easily 10 next that money and be sitting on 60, 70, 80, a hundred thousand dollars guys in a few years time. So let's go ahead and break it down, share with you guys a lot of mistakes that I see happening. And I'm don't expect for everybody to greet me on everything that I say, you know, we can share different thoughts and opinions, but I'm just here to, you know, spread my opinion on what I think and how I would move differently with my taxes if I got that kind of money. But being an entrepreneur, you know, making a certain uh, amount of money and not much. I ain't making much money now. I ain't rich, but making a certain amount of money, you have to pay back taxes instead of receiving them. So, you know, some people is not fortunate enough to receive that same blessing that the working class is getting. But it just it, 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 it's hand to hand, though, because if, you know, it ain't really, you know, if I'm working, if I'm working and receiving taxes back, that means I'm obviously not making too much money you know because i'm getting i'm receiving taxes but if i'm working and i'm paying taxes in you still it's a blessing in disguise even though i'm paying in i'm still making i'm making it so if that makes sense guys so you know it's nothing to really complain about and there's nothing to uh look down upon as well just because you're receiving taxes that don't you know that's good hell you about to come up out of the situation you in if you take heed of what i'm about to say and use this uh as your advantage so long story short guys and don't want to hold you too long in this video just want to get my thoughts out and break down exactly what i want to say so we see it way too many times guys and a lot of people don't understand the opportunity that they have in front of them by receiving this large sum of money at one time what a lot of people do is they have you know everybody make the same mistake people feel like they so rich when they get their taxes you see people going out to the malls buying new clothes going on trips nice luxury vacations eating at the finest restaurants eating out every single day till the money's gone doing things that they want to normally do on a normal basis feeling like they up that's why the rich stay rich and the poor stay poor the more money the rich people and wealthy with wealthy mindsets get they spend less money they try to get their expenses and their bills to less as possible to keep that gap very wide the amount of money that's coming in and the amount of money that they spending you want to keep that very very distance from each other you don't want to keep it close the more money every time you start making more money your spinaches your spinaches and your expenses rise as well you don't want to do that to yourself so uh, the black community they always spend way more you know they be so quick to spend money whenever they receive it or get it and we understand because you know you're not used to having nothing you go all year broke living paycheck to paycheck and then it's like when you get that tax return it's like a relief Whew, i'm able to do this for the kids we're able to go on a trip now we're able to eat somewhere nice now i understand i really do but it's like you still once you get that check that tax return you still got to learn and know how to take sacrifices and know okay if i sacrifice us another year we've been all year fine we even though we've been hard we've been fine without a vacation we've been fine without eating the finest foods we've been fine without this stuff so let's go ahead and take one more year doing that same thing just because we got this money let's not change a thing let's keep that same energy that we had all year long and act like we don't even got this money if we don't have a plan to do what to do with the money yet we're gonna just continue to live how we living but we got this money sitting right here in the account waiting for us to come up with a plan to do whatever we're gonna do with it because you know because some people like you know if i got this money you say uh do this like i could do this with it like what exactly to do with it you know whatever you passionate about whatever you want to you know you could take 
a, a little bit, a thousand, two thousand of that money and start investing smallly in something that you're passionate about and start making money with that money. You also can take it a step further and make it way more easy and simple. What I think a lot of people should do is just investing. It's just a click of a button. Investing in the companies that you about to take and go spend this money at. I'm pretty sure when you get these taxes, you're already looking at the latest iPhone. Go ahead and buy Apple stock instead of getting the iPhone to keep the phone that you got already. I know as soon as you get this tax money, you're already looking at the latest J's on kicks on fire you're trying to see what's coming out go ahead and take that money and go ahead and buy nike stock instead of buying the shoe so that way these things that you are already ready to buy and sit up in line to do go ahead and invest in those and i promise you you'll be able to see a crazy return on that same money that you was about to just throw and give away like you do every single year that you're gonna see a crazy return that it's gonna sh shift your whole mindset like dang this turned into that and, you know, I, I took one year off from going crazy and spending my taxes and just invested it. And I seen what that could do. Dang, when I get my taxes next year, I'm going to do the same thing. By the time, you know, five years from now, seven years from now, man, I've been done, made 300, 400,000. I'm still working at a job, but making this kind of money because I understand the way money works and how to make my money work for make my money work for itself make my money work for money and bring more friends along instead of me working so hard for the money my whole life so once you understand that process and concept you will prevail guys and what a lot of people mess up at this is one of the biggest uh key factors in in the community with people receiving these taxes as soon as you get these taxes people ranging on low end from two to three thousand on the mid range, people getting back five, six to seven thousand, and on the high end, people getting nine, ten, eleven, twelve thousand dollars. Some probably even getting fifteen k, which I haven't heard that. The highest I heard was twelve k, but just putting it out there because I know you know some people probably didn't tweak the system and getting fifteen. So anyway, that's type of money that you should never look back. You should never be broke no more after having that type of money. After I got falsely accused in high school for a crime I didn't commit and had to use all my teenager money that I accumulated to pay bonds and lawyer fees and all this stuff after I went to school, my only tax refund check, I got like kind of like a tax refund check. Same thing as the school. When you go to school, your parents not making that much money. I guess they give you some type of a uh, little refund check or whatnot. I got some type of refund check on for going to school for like $3,000. And I owe, I paid like $1,500 to family and friends for helping me out for, you know, looking out for me because I ain't had two pennies to roll together just six years ago. Now I got plenty. So it's just a blessing from God. But anyways, to go back to what I'm saying was, only thing I needed was that fifteen hundred dollars six years ago. From fifteen hundred, I got everything I got now. Not to brag, but you know, I got a house, I got cars, I got businesses, I got investment portfolios with five figures. I got, you know, I got, I got a lot of stuff going on for myself now, and still, and I nowhere near where I want to be. But I'm way further than, you know, uh, you know, I'm, I'm at the top, top one percent in my opinion for my age bracket. And I ain't talking about. The famous people nothing like that i'm talking about regular people because i'm a regular old joe for the regular people in the world i'm, I'm top one percent if you're talking a different level of people i'm i'm not top one percent if that makes sense so anyways guys what i'm saying to you is don't when having this type of money that you about to receive for your taxes is money you should never look back you should never be in a rat race no more you should never be living paycheck to paycheck no more you should be good from here guys if you be smart for that money and where you gonna make that mistake at is oh let me go ahead and pay up six to seven months rent let me go ahead and pay up my car payment for another five months i got all this money i could pay up this i could pay up that i could go on vacation i can do this i can do that i can do that and that's the main mess up right there when you pay up stuff what's the purpose of paying up seven months of rent and something and giving them seven thousand dollars when i know how powerful that seven thousand dollars is in my position it's people out there trying to get seven eight thousand dollars on credit just so they could utilize that loan and flip it because they know the power of having money and using it to make money. Instead, you want to just give them your money like that? No, me, what I would do is I wouldn't pay up shit. For what? I keep living how I'm living. You got a job to make sure. I see if only way I pay it up if I was in fear. I just lost my job. I don't know if no more money going to come in. And I just want to make sure I got a roof over my head for the next seven months. Then, But if I'm still living how I was basically living, my job going to make sure it been paying the bills every month. It's going to continue to pay the bills next month. Why try to pay it up early? Go ahead and take advantage of having that large lump sum of money and use it 
Use it as utilization to increase your wealth and help your net worth grow. Take that money that you about to go spend on Airbnb and go on these trips and invest in Airbnb, however the case may be. So you can be steady putting yourself and lining yourself up for a better future, guys. But do not go out. In my opinion, I wouldn't go off and pay off. I definitely wouldn't be paying off no debt to money that I owed in the past. I ain't worried about that until I get up, get up a, hundred, a couple hundred bands. Then I worry about paying off debt. I ain't paying up nothing. I ain't never paying up nothing. Heck no. I ain't never paying up no mortgage, no rent, no none of that. For what? For what? I could take that same money in. And, and, and flip this real quick. Seven, eight, ten G's. What are these people getting back for taxes? You know how much I have that turned into? 